shall we? Maria was baptized when she was 13, but didn't follow through on the ways of the Lord. In 2010, she met Rodrigo. After three months, we decided to move in together and we rented a house. At that time, I was working at a glass workshop and she was a salesperson. From the very beginning, I knew he was a drinker. I started drinking when I was 15. I was aware that what he was doing was something wrong. I attended another denomination and I had... I had drifted away from that ministry. He even got baptized in that other denomination and I advised him to stop drinking. And I considered myself to be his wife, but I decided to go back. I'll go back to church and I'll fight. In the beginning of 2013, Maria joined the Grace of God Church and became steadfast in the ways of the Lord Jesus. I talked to God and I confessed to him all the mistakes I had made. Until then, I was living in sin, but the Word says that if we confess our transgressions, the Lord is faithful to forgive us. And I wanted my husband to be delivered. I asked God to change my life and to change his life. Then one day she said to me, Rodrigo, before my mother died, she taught me that marriage is forever. So from today on, I will be waging a war for you. I started a campaign for him to stop drinking. It was the rose campaign. While I slept, she rubbed the rose on me. I anointed the beer bottles with oil. When I started drinking, I'd feel a bitter taste. Then he said he wouldn't drink anymore. After 18 years of addiction, of that curse, I quit all addictions. One day, it was a Sunday, she said to me, shall we go to church? I said, let's go. I've sponsored in favor of my marriage. It's so worth it. The Lord rewards us always. We got married in 2013. In 2013, on the 24th of August, 2013. That same year, they bought a plot of land and planned to build their house. We had no money to build a house. We paid the installments of the plot. We paid the rent. But then we've always persevered and trusted in God as faithful tithers. And she is a sponsor, right? When we started to build this house, I became a tither. A friend of mine's a bricklayer, and I had a car, a Passat 96, and he wanted to buy a car like that, so we made a deal. God told my husband to exchange it for his building work, then he did it. I hired a lawyer to draft an agreement. He fulfilled his part in the agreement, no problems. God started doing the work and kept doing it. I paid all that I needed to pay and we still had money left and we also paid the rent for three years. The house was finished in 2016. I asked for a house, but I never thought he would give me this house, this large. The house has 180 meters built. It has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a living room, a kitchen, a barbecue area, a laundry, and a garage. I'm nothing, nothing without the Lord. I just can't take one, one step if He doesn't sustain me. I thank God because He is wonderful. God is, God is God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 